Councilman Hopkins. Yes, um, it's funny you asked that question because the first thing that I did was in Edgewood when I first got elected. Uh, the gentleman called me and said, there's no sign on our street. It was Massasoit Avenue. And he said, I've been living here for 50 years and we've never had a sign. Well, within two weeks there was a sign up and he was extremely happy and he still thanks me for doing that. But I also chair the Public Works Committee and I'm in constant contact with the Director of Public Works, Mr. Mason. And if anybody calls with a complaint about uh, no through trucks or slow children signs or stop signs, uh, we immediately pass that on to the Director. And if you've noticed lately, new signs are going up throughout the city uh, for those constituent concerns. Thank you. Anyone else? I was just going to put a plea in saying, please, please. I, I don't have GPS, and I'm going to a lot of wars, and I'm driving with a piece of paper like this going, okay, it should be on the run. What? No. Not in the, oh, all right. So if I come down this way, maybe it goes across that way. I would be great. i pay more in taxes if we could have more signs. That person's right. No, we need them. Councilman Stavos. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, as Ken said, the Public Works Department responds uh, very quickly, uh, well, usually, to uh, <coughs> missing stop signs and, and signs. And uh, I know that people like to be critical of government, but we have a really good Public Works Director. Ken Mason is a pro. He's what you want in a civil servant. And uh, we, he does a very good job with the resources that he has. Amy, I'm sorry. Okay. I'd just like to add that living in Ward 4, I've noticed within the last year our street signs have been getting larger. And it's <laughs> nice to see that you can actually see where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> Councilman Farina. And I like to see it. Yeah, situation. I was going to add that uh, <laughs> there is an initiative going on right now where they're actually replacing a lot of street signs in communities that have had them stolen or that there was an issue with the age of the signs. Uh, we actually tried during the last budget to add another head to that department uh, so because the city does make a lot of its own signs we print them and we use them uh, especially stop signs yield signs uh, and various other traffic signs we actually tried to add another head to that department unfortunately the budget was too tight so we couldn't get it done so now we have two people in the sign department whose job it is to replace all the signs in the city um, so they're working it's going to take them you know another year probably to get them all done but they're going section by section, neighborhood by neighborhood, and updating the signs where they see the issues. And I gotta thank uh, the members of the highway department and Ken Mason for actually taking that as initiative before we as a council could even tell them to. They did that on their own knowing they had to do it. So it's always good to have good departments. Like Councilman Psycho said, Ken Mason is a great director. 